thing about me is dancing and, and art or visual arts, they've always been like parallel to each other. When I started drawing was around the same time when I started dancing and what pretty much influenced my dancing was when I was growing up I was watching videos of Michael Jackson, music videos and moonwalk and all that and that was pretty much my first introduction to any type of dancing and pretty much the main reason why I wanted to dance. I got introduced to graffiti by a friend in middle school. At the time, I, I used to draw way before graffiti. I used to be always involved in dancing, and, but it was never something serious. I, I didn't really know the whole history about what I was doing. And then I, I saw this guy doing graffiti in paper. Ever since then, I was just like, God, I, I, I like the way it looked. You know, so I practiced graffiti on paper and started getting better. And then at that time, it was like a transitioning period because I was graduating from high school and I, I started to meet a different type of crowd, you know, more artistic, more cultural. Just little by little, I started to get drawn into the whole hip hop scene and the whole hip hop vibe and just started becoming more aware of what was really going on. This badass underground scene that was, you know, going down and not a lot of people knew about it. When I was younger, I used to try to be involved in a lot of gang activity. Kind of fit the stereotype of a young Hispanic kid at that age, which is, you know, saggy pants, you know, with the cross. And, and yeah, it, it uh, kind of died off pretty quick. I remember I saw a flyer for a competition. That was the first competition that I went, which was by Soul Power B-Boys, Ritual Warfare, the first one. And after that, I just met so many people and, you know, b-boys, the MCs, the DJs, the rap writers, the poppers. After that, I got addicted to that type of lifestyle, to that type of, you know, the, the vibes, the people, the unity that was behind it. And of course, you know, the beefs, the griminess, the street bitch of it. I danced my way up <laughs> until I discovered that there was actually something called popping. That's what I do now. I kind of see both graffiti and dancing as one thing. It's all covered under the same umbrella, which is art. Well, my dad used to work for Corona, and he used to do a lot of advertising back in Mexico City. And he used to paint a lot of letters and fonts and stuff like that, you know, real old school stuff. I remember when I was really little, probably like four, that's when I kind of started getting an interest for it. But I know that my dad was the influence. He, he was pretty much the main influence in my, and why I started even picking up a pencil and thinking about doing something. And then everything else just after that was just my struggles, my successes. I just took that as inspiration and just kind of developed my own skill. Schools never really helped me. I took a couple of courses now in college, but pretty basic stuff. So. Graffiti is pretty much what helped me as an artist evolve. A lot of people think that graffiti is really simple and there's no purpose in it. It showed me a lot of stuff that I know now, you know, color combinations and outlines and just so many things. It opened the way I saw art and how I do my art now. You know, it sounds a bit selfish of me, but the reality of it is that I've never really done things for the community. That mentality that I had, I was like, you know, I'm doing this just for me, not really for anyone else. But then I saw that a lot of people liked it and it was actually making places look better. And what I do, my art, it inspires me. And it really does, because that's, that's the way I got into it. Because I got inspired by people. I see, you know, a lot of other cities that have, you know, real cool vibes and, you know, and all these underground events and all that. You know, I kind of want to bring up Dallas, kind of represent where I was raised up in. Till now, at this point, I get a lot of people that tell me, oh, you know, you should just stick to dancing, or you should just stick to graffiti, or, you know, painting, or doing this, or doing that, or, you know, it's always limit yourself. Just do one thing, concentrate on one, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to limit myself. The more you limit yourself, the less valuable you are as a person. 
And so I try to do everything and I try to do it to my top ability. And when I say that, I mean it in the most like honest way. Like I'm not just saying it just to say it. Like I literally try to practice what I preach. Something I do believe is everything we do is just energy. That's why I'm very attracted to graffiti and dancing. Every time you see a piece or something done, you know that there was a struggle to get there. There was a history behind that. You know, the person had to do the preparation and whether if it was legally or illegally. And for the same matter, that's the same thing about dancing. You know, I'm trying to make the best out of the worst situations. And thanks to that, I've been able to grow up fine. A lot of people always tell me about, you know, their struggles and what they had to go through and all this. And for the most part, I did have some struggles financially or with the family, legal stuff and whatnot. But at the same time, I don't see those as things that stop me from doing what I like to do because I'm here now. I don't try to show my background as, you know, depressed or anything like that. I just try to show it as I had some struggles, but I got to overcome those. Keep on moving. You know, that's my thing. Keep on thinking. Keep on questioning. Keep on trying to become a better person. You know, a lot of people are so worried about fitting in and trying to be like everybody else and it's Yes, man, just go against the politics, go against the system. Yeah, take your critique and stuff like that, but, you know, be a rebel.